Oh, hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today we're working on our 2004 Volvo XC90 and we're going to be replacing the shift knob. It's going to be fairly easy. I can do it. You can do it too. And if you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay, so we're just going to get right in here. I'm going to use my pocket screwdriver and I'm going to come right along the shifter and the boot. Try to pry it away and bring it down. There we are. Now that we have that like that, we can grab this plastic, lift this up a little bit. We can see right under here. So we've got the boot, so it's hanging down here. Now we're just gonna grab the shifter and give it a good yank and try to lift it straight up and out, okay? Here we go. So there it is, easy peasy. We'll grab our new one and we'll get ready to install it. So here we are friends, a quick product comparison for you. Over here we have our shift knob out of our 2004 Volvo XC90. And over here we have our brand new quality 1A Auto part. Both these parts are built to the same specifications. For the length, you've got the same length, you've got your same shaft, you've got the area where the boot goes onto, You've even got the little button for shifting. The difference would be the original Volvo one has this cheap plastic garbage up on top of there. Our quality 1A Auto one is beautiful. It's going to make this thing a race car almost, right? With that said, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't be a quality part to install into the vehicle, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. If you need this or any other part, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. So we'll just take this and recycle it. We'll take our brand new quality 1A Auto one. Slide it right in here. Set it down nice. And now here's the fun part. Once you got it down so it's good, give it a little bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Slam it in there, give it a little tug. I'm gonna try it again. You really gotta get it down there. That feels great. Now what we gotta do is get this on here. All right, so the ring is supposed to be up inside the end here, and that's just going to slide up and over these, okay? Let's take a look at it, see what it looks like. That looks good. I'm going to take this, just try to slide it up and over. If it doesn't want to slide over, we might just need to spin that little ring that's in there. So we'll give that a try real quick. Come under here, drop that ring down. Let's take a better look at it. So here's the ring. There it is, right there. It's got, come on, Len. <laughs> it's messing with me. Four little slots going around. Okay. None of them really look any different than the others, except for that one right there, actually. So. We just need to see where on the shifter has that little thing. And it feels like it's the front one. Yep, the front has a little extra slot on it. So we need to make sure that we line that up. I'm gonna come back around. I'm gonna put the slotted one, which is that one right there, towards the front. I'll bring it up in here. Get it into the boot, up along where it belongs. Slide it up on there. Should want to slide right on. Almost. Come on, baby. Don't play no games. It needs to sit up on top of these teeth right there. So whatever you need to do to make it so your clip sits up on there. There we go. All right. Give this little tug. It's not coming up. Put our plastic back under here. Get everything situated so it's happy. All right, there we go. Down the road we go. Thanks for watching. If you want the parts to do it yourself, 
Check out 1AAuto.com, the place for DIY auto repair.